Hey y'all, welcome back. This is Michelle from Michelle's Empty Nest, and we are right back into my childhood documented 80s style album today. Um, as a reminder, if you haven't seen the previous videos, um, I am using a Simple Stories. This is called a Snap Flipbook. Um, and I, I chose it because it had that kind of vintage 80s feel instead of just using a regular, um, like a three ring binder. So that's what I chose and I've covered this just with a digital paper. Um, and I had mentioned earlier, and I think I'm probably still gonna do this, um, when I'm done and not worried about the glare from filming, I think I'm going to laminate one of these and put that on the front because this reminds me a lot of a Trapper Keeper cover from way back when. And um, I think it would be neat for it to have that look and feel of the, the slicky Trapper Keeper as well as it will definitely be much more protected if I laminate it. And then I will also put one on the back when I'm done as well. So, today we are going to be looking at Saturday morning cartoons and collections. So, I'm going to go ahead and get you put on fast forward and get set up and we'll get this one done. So, let's do it. Okay, I am going to put my paper out flat onto my craft table to work on it so that it is much easier. And this first prompt is Saturday morning cartoons. And it is a much more toned down layout than the last couple. <laughs> they were very bright, so I kind of toned this one down a bit. Um, it's just kind of on a gray checked background. One side has a bigger check than the other. And I pull that TV in as a digital ephemera piece. Um, and then... Um, also did my title there straight onto my um, background in Photoshop and I just chose a fun playful um, style font to use for this one since I was talking about cartoons and for some reason I printed these out on matte sticker I mean matte photo paper instead of the glossy photo paper that I normally use I don't know why but I mean it, it didn't really make a difference it's just different than what I've done from the other photos and images in the album so far um, but it does definitely give them um, a lot of saturated color being on that matte photo paper. So I chose Scooby-Doo and the Jetsons and Schoolhouse Rock and then Super Friends, which I used to love. There was all those different characters there. I love the Wonder Twins. And then the Smurfs, Inspector Gadget, Fraggle Rock, which at this time was not a cartoon. It was more... Um, you know, I don't know. Was it more like a stop motion? I'm not sure how that was filmed back then, but I included it anyway. And then um, we have Thundercats, then He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, and Jim. And I talk about this at the end, but a few of these I put on here because I have vivid memories of watching them with my brother, who was seven years younger than I am. And so that kind of stood out as I was getting towards the end of the 80s in my late teens. Um, you know, I remember those times with him on Saturday morning. So I'm getting this one put in place, doing a little trim off there. Sometimes I just don't lay them down straight. Sometimes maybe I didn't cut them at exactly the right length. And so I often need to trim off a little bit, but it's okay. All right, then I kind of went back to a half bright, half not bright layout for this one, and it was my collections. And I had two that I wanted to talk about. And so um, I found that the piece that you see laying over there with the doll and the cat, it was a cluster in this collection kit that I um, am using from Megan's Designs. And it's two little frames, a, a bigger one and a smaller one. And I thought that would just be perfect. So I sized it up to fill up the page and then made my photos fit those two places. And um, I go into a little more detail about these at the end as well, so I won't spend a lot of time telling you again. You know, I know you don't want to hear everything twice, but um, so I took my X-Acto knife and just trimmed out everything inside of those frames. It took a little bit of time, but um, I trimmed them out so that I could actually have, you know, like the, the glossy photo behind them. So I'm adhering them down with... Um, washi tape and then I'm going to use more score tape than normal and kind of go over some of those places where the photos are just to give them you know more staying power as I put it onto this base page 
Um, and then the title page side there was a very large, bold print. And I sized it down again very, very far and just did the repeat copying and pasting um, to get it down to something that was a little less in your face because I liked the pattern and the colors. Uh, and it was one that I had not used yet from the collection. So I wanted to use it. And I'm going to do just that little cloud thing and cut it out. And the first time that I wrote it there with the Posca paint pen, it was too big. <laughs> so I had to make it a little smaller. And um, then I'm going to get that fussy cut out and adhere down. And then in what looks like a little label area over there over the doll, I just put love. I couldn't really figure out what would fit there nicely. So I thought, okay, these were things that I love. And so that's what I'm going to write down. So I get this cut out and adhere down. I'm going to get everything put back into my album. And then I'll go back and um, get those recollections number stickers that I've been using and add in the 13 right onto the TV. And then I'll put the 14 on the collections page. And, um, and that's going to finish this one up for today. So I will be back to talk to you in just a few seconds. Okay, I'm calling this one done right here, and I like how both of these pages turned out. I'm still enjoying having like the two different size patterns on the papers. I had done that a lot in the beginning. Um, these patterns were much simpler. They were a kit that I had got off of Etsy that had 80s backgrounds. Um, then once I went to the ones from um, Sweet Shop Designs, the more elaborate um, collections, you know, the, the patterns got a little bit more elaborate and the colors got a little brighter as well <laughs> as we've gone along through my album. Um, but I chose these 10 cartoons and some of these I remember watching with my brother, um, who was seven years younger than me. Um, so like Thundercats, he used to go around saying, Thundercats, ho! And it was just, a you know, that that memory was special to me. So I wanted to make sure I included that, even though it wasn't like my absolute favorite cartoon. Um, so I thought this one turned out well. I loved this little TV. It was a... Um, a, um, a an ephemera piece in the digital collection and so I just brought it into this paper in Photoshop. All right then for my collections um, I had um, a huge collection of porcelain dolls or china dolls and um, I loved them. They all had names and I remember I used to have this list. It was kind of like a spreadsheet before I knew what spreadsheets were because I had all these columns and I had their name. I made up a date of birth for them. I made up where they were from and if they had brothers or sisters and um, I just let each one kind of tell a story and you know sometimes it was based off of where I got them from if I remembered purchasing them with my parents. Um, my uncle used to travel overseas some and he brought me back a couple so I would give them names related to where they were from. And my, my shelf was like floor, floor to ceiling and just covered in them. So I had tons of those. And I also collected cats. Um, and I had two cats that were just like this. I had another uncle who did ceramics. Um, if you watch my December Daily, I um, did a special story about a Santa that he made when I was just very young, maybe two or three, and I still have it now. I'm 51. It still sits under my Christmas tree every year. It still looks brand new, and it's just a very prized possession. Um, but I had two of these. They were probably maybe a foot and a half tall each. They were large. And then I just had tons of little small figurines um, sitting around in my room as well that were cats. So that's my collections and my favorite Saturday morning cartoons. So next time we are going to be looking at mixed tape and big hair. This is going to be a fun one. <laughs> so make sure you come back to check that one out.
And I certainly appreciate you stopping by today. It means more to me than you will ever know. And if you enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do that and become a part of my little YouTube family. I will have some close-ups at the end as well as over on Instagram, and I'd love for you to follow me there as well. I'll have um, the collection, the digital collection, as well as Crystal's planning sheets listed down below. And until I see you next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Thank you.